So European football is coming to the Eagles for season six. Today we start season six, transfer update. It's been a disappointing window. Don't go away, don't go away because we have got the opening game of the season away at Ajax. So that will be fun, won't it? All right, let's get into the start of season six. The Eagles, I am nervous about this season. Let's go. Season six is here of the Eagles. And I don't know why I'm smiling so much because... I've been left a little bit underwhelmed with the transfer business. We've just not been able to bring people in that I wanted to bring in. We've brought people in, I think, to strengthen a few areas. We wanted four key players, really. Two centre-halves, a left wing-back and a striker. We've kind of got some of those. We've not really got a striker in. I just can't get a striker in. With our budget, that is better than what we've already got. It's not worked. We've also, as you can see... We have lost Christopher Klassen, our number one goalkeeper. He had a release clause of 1.5 million. So we've let him go. It's kind of freed us up a little bit in terms of wages, about eight grand on wages. And at the same time, 1.5 million goes into the bank. So then we can redistribute in terms of wages. Johan Hove, he was on 525 a week. So he's gone, once again, freeing us up on the wages. And Hartsman, who we signed a couple of seasons ago, nowhere near. He was on about two grand a week, so pleased to get him off the books. Now, with that, we have brought back, as you can see by the thumbnail, Stephen Berghaus. Now, I've kind of gone with a heart over head kind of position for this. He does actually be a nice little squad filler. His technicals are really good. And now that we're playing in Europe, we may need him to feature a little bit. He started his career... At go ahead, Eagles. Didn't play because this was when he was sort of like 15, 16, I think. And then obviously moved on to 20. Had a really good career, obviously, last few seasons at Ajax. So I brought him in. He's got his brothers and his dad was with us at some point in the coaching setup. So he's pretty good. Obviously, his physicals aren't great. He's only a year deal. But I thought it was a nice little backup. Can play down the middle as well. Down the middle. Left. Right. Central as well, so I think a really nice pickup. We, we need, we, I, I think I needed something just to warm the heart a little bit. Everything has been so trying to be so efficient, and I've not had the opportunity like you do in summer saves to just go with one with your heart. And yeah, it's a lot nine k a week, but it's a year we had the money. There was nothing else. He'll do a job. Nice to bring him, and we'll definitely sell some shirts for us as well. We have brought in Olivia Hertzson, who is a uh, Ajax youth product released. Look, he's two and a half star. I've just brought him in because he was a little bit on the cheap side. He was wanted by a few of the other clubs, AZ Altmar 20. So I thought it was a good idea to get him in. And then we've picked up two loanies. Paul Scholl, who is a very exciting centre-half, to be fair. Really good all-round. Physical six foot four, good pace. 14, 14, 13s scattered about. He had a really good loan spell as well at Herenveen. 7.16 average rating and we've got him on loan from FC Bayern so really pleased with that I think cost us a little bit in loan 220 loan fee and then we've brought in Matthias Perez Vinloff who is a Swedish wing back he has got tremendous physicals a couple of nice little attributes in terms of his technique passing dribbling okay um we just needed someone else down that side. Uh, we've obviously got Elstrand. Was it? What's he called? What's the English dude called? Wilson Esbrand. But we needed another option, so we've brought him in. And then we've just signed another goalkeeper. <laughs> There's my regen pack. Uh, he has cost us next to nothing, fifty-six thousand pounds. He's only twenty-one years old and has got a nice few attributes there, and his value has already jumped up. So we've got him and my English goalkeeper, Ted. Ted Curd, my number ones this season, so a little bit of a risk in there. And then the main transfer where we pretty much spent all of our money, Bazicic. Bazicic? Bajicic? I can't think what it's called. I listened to the commentary last night. I was like, oh, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Um, but we've got him in. He's going to be our libero for the season. Deal done. 12 grand a week. Highest earner at the club. But I do think, you know, at some point, I think, depending on how this season goes, at some point, we may have to really try and push a couple of these top earners out of the door. Not in terms of the wages, but because of the transfer value. Because we need to try and kick on. We've had some terrible news in terms of the coefficient. Now, even though FC Twente won the Europa Conference League, so well done to them, a poor campaign for us in the Champions League, and I think probably over a number of years, and Porto and Benfica both getting to the last 16, meant... We have dropped down below Portugal in the coefficient, which is an absolute nightmare because it meant we lost our Champions League, two Champions League group stages. Everything else stayed the same, 
but it didn't get knocked down to Europa. We just lost a group stage Champions League. So that's vanished. So it kind of now makes me feel like that opportunity we had in last season to finish third is, is going to haunt us forever. Mainly because we now, to qualify for the Champions League, not only do we need to get past, you know, before we had to get past one of the big three in Ajax, PSV and final to get into the Champions League now and even into qualifier, we need to get past two of them. And that is going to be a problem. So it may just have to be Europa League football. I still want us to be best of the rest. I'm not sure what the, like the board, we're expected to finish eighth. Now, eight for me will not be good enough. I'm going to say that I'll be happy with fifth. We finished fourth last year, but there is some bigger clubs, you know, Utrecht, Twente, there'll be someone else. Uh, there's someone else, I'm pretty sure. Is it out now? There's the other one. All bigger clubs than us. So, you know, if we if we do finish fourth, we've done really well. We've got European football to contend with. Obviously, the draw for that has not been done because we've got that massive new format. Never played in the big format of the European football yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Next episode on Sunday night as well will be the uh, first Europa League game, whatever it is. OK, and we'll get the music played for the first time. When that was released as a top feature uh, back in the start of FM23, that was, I was like, I can't wait to hear that music with the Eagles. So we'll have that on Sunday. Right, those are the transfers. We have hopefully got Pablo Suarez heading out of the door. Um, I am looking at another couple of strikers. The, the idea of trying to get money in for him is to give us a little bit of money in the bank for wages, uh, sorry, for transfer budget, and then we may go out and sign another striker. I still can't get rid of Troy Parrott. He's always wanted, but I can just never get him out of the door. It's an absolute disaster because he's on two million. Just one million. Just give me one million. Give me anything. We had a couple of deals for a couple of clubs, I can't remember, somewhere random, a really weird country in Europe. Two deals were done. I accepted them and the board rejected them. It's just like, come on, he's not playing football for us. I do not need him. Can we just get some money? We signed him on a free, so whatever we make on him is going to be profit. But you know what FM is like. So the squad, I'm happy. Are we stronger than last year? Yes, we've not got weaker. We've got stronger, but just not as strong. I have my doubts about... Do I have my doubts about Van Eydonk? I'm not sure. He scored 10 goals in pre-season, it says. Our pre-season, by the way, is pretty good. Groenigan, 5-2, is a good one. We've just beat Leicester at home as well, 2-0. So that's, you know, they are good results. But we've been given a bit of a stinker. Jesus. First six games, Ajax, AZ, 20. Uh, RKC, uh, wow. <laughs> and then Feyenoord and PSV. So they are, whew, that's as tough as it gets, doesn't it? That is as tough as it gets. Okay. Right, we'll deal with that, no doubt, over the next few games, next few weeks when I'm playing this serve. So the Europa League, this is what the board want from us. The board would like to take time to play it, Reiner. Be competitive and top our finish. So we'll do that. Be competitive as well. We're still waiting for some playoff games to come in. Let's see if there's any... Is there any big teams? Do we? Is, there must be a... Must be a... Seedings or something? Teams? League phase, 20, Lille, uh, 20 because obviously they won the Europa uh, Conference League, Besikt on a Besiktas playoff, Sevilla, Porto, Arsenal, Rennes, Atalanta, West Ham, Dortmund, Gladbach, Lazio, Real Sociedad. Okay, yeah, it's going to be tough. We're going to be ranked as one of the outsiders there, aren't we? Right, let's play. We had no bids for Collard on Recep or anything like that this summer. So they're obviously saying Collard is suspended. So already starting as we mean to go on. We'll not be able to play today. I'm thinking I was going to try and transfer this Corwell, you know. He's worth six point six around six million. We've got two weeks left of the transfer window. I'm just not sure who would come in for him. He's got fantastic pace. Average rating of 7.05. I am going to go with him at the start. We have got Nduka, who is the other centre-half. Um, but he's four, I just feel like Corwell gives us a better balance, left-footed as well, on that side. So we're going to go with Corwell, Bazatic and Scholl. Curled, he's going to start as number one. Clubinho is going to come in and be our right wing-back. Perez Vinloff as the complete on the left. Fabian and Mouvier in the middle. Recep Derami van Hoydonk. We've still got Jaden Braff with us as well. And then we've I tried to get rid of Huberson. I wanted him to go out on loan because I'm going to bring another striker. I want him to have a years and he absolutely went mental. So I've had to just have him as a backup for this season. Right. 
Let's go. We this is like this is as tough as it gets. I didn't realise till just now that horrendous start we've got to the season. I think we need to try and get a couple of good wins in now. Then first six games. Obviously the game against RKC, that needs to be a win at home. But Ajax were awesome last year. Absolutely awesome. Only what nine goals conceded, I think. They managed to keep hold of players like Timber as well, which is really good. Right, here we go. Come on. Cordoba. Burger. Oh, we've won it. Fabian. De Ramey. He's back at Ajax. He's going to put us 1-0 up. He has put us 1-0 up. Boom, boom, boom. Get in. Not even two minutes. I'm going to calm down because we're playing Ajax. They've given us a goal. Knowing my luck on FM at the moment, it, there will be an equaliser before we probably get to five minutes. But De Ramey who was in fantastic form. The tactic changes that we've given for him, allowing him to be a little bit wider, has helped. And he's pounced and he's finished. And it is 1-0. Here we go. Highlight. Cowell. Scholl. Mouvier. Back heel. Steady. Into Clubidio. We've, brought, we've beaten their press, boys. Reset. I just wanted a striker, though, that just offered us a little bit more pace. So we could just hit him a little bit early. I think there was an opportunity there to hit the ball over the top and Van Oudonk never really went for it. Right, kudos. Giving the possession away, which is disappointing because we're in a really good area there. Remember what I said? Well, they'll equalise before five minutes. Over. Origi. Let's focus, boys. Hey, we've given ourselves a chance, though, boys, haven't we? 60. We've got in first 18 minutes. We had 60% possession there. Ajax are going to be thinking, hey, this, this manager at Eagles is someone we need to be looking out for. Right, Lema. Kudos. He's come from deep, the central midfielder. We're in trouble. Yeah. 22 minutes. Divok Origi has equalised for Ajax. Ah, oh, come on, let's just keep ourselves in the bloody game. It's a good header by Fabian. Carrera. Cleared by Hanoi. It's going to come back, though, isn't it? Christiansen. Cordoba. Mane. Timber. He's dug out a cross. We've done really well to defend again. Oh, we're all over the spot. We're just panicking a little bit. Oh, we've got it back. We've got it back. We've got it back. Oh, we haven't. We fucking just... Just relax. Oh, God. What is this highlight doing, boys? Oh. Come on, referee. I don't think it's offside, is it? And then just like that, just have a little bit of calm. The goalkeeper's supposed to slow the pace down as well. It's a great ball. And just like that, two goals in five minutes, turn the game on its head. Right, Cowell into Mouvier, Bazicic. Got possession. We just need to just relax a little bit on it. Cowell's gone really long, really pointless. Just, oh, decisions, boys. Just build it. They've hit the Zielinski in this corner. Well, it's Zielinski. It's... Oh, fucking hell. Whoever he is, he's just picked out Origi. I'm berating him now. Just for us, just to keep hold of the ball. That was terrible. I'm going to say that was terrible. If I don't know, it's a 6.4. Let's get Uberson on. Let's play him as a advanced forward. I was just hoping with that mid-block, we'd just be able to release that striker a little bit. That highlight that we had that eventually led... I think to I remember their first goal. We just had the opportunity just to play one in and we didn't do it. And Van Oudon didn't make the run. Right. Sub time. Pointless. 3-1. The second half has kind of drained away. I'm getting a little bit about not so much the save, but just about our expectations for the season and what we can achieve. Looking at the Europa League draw, that's going to be an absolute killer, isn't it? I think. Right. Terrell, don't make it far. I'll have there. Come on. Come on, Lino. Come on, Lino. Okay, we're starting with a 4-1. I've just done the Everton video as well. So the last two games that I've played on record, I've lost 6-0 and 4-1. It's a good ball. Go on, Linoff. Huberson's there. No. 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 Tackle. Oh, no, Origi. Can't be for his five. It's five, boys. Oh, this is a shambles. We're supposed to be defensively better this season. Water bottle thrown. Right. Um, shit. We've got that horrendous run to start the season as well. Where will that be? Oh, my 
it's one game. I'm getting worried about being bottom of the league. But let's not we start with one. We were so we're not we weren't so good defensively last year, but we were decent. That is not what we wanted. Okay, right. Thanks for watching. Back Sunday night. Uh, first game of the Europa League, whoever it is. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.